Hello YouTube, Scratch about 1996 here again, and welcome back to another episode of Crack Pack. In this episode, we're actually going to be still working on just a little bit of Thomcraft, not too much today. And then we're going to work on some applied energistics. Only why I say Thomcraft is because look at all these recipes! I was researching. But here, this is the bow and bow, and this is how I came up with that. This is the magic tallow, and that's how I did that one. I'm just gonna show you how I did these. This one's the uh, one for thomium. That's how I did that one. This one's for alimentium. That's how I did that. This one's for the arcane levitators. That's how I did that. <laughs> this is for arcane ears. This for a wand of focus. It was a focus wand, a portable hole thing. This one was kind of difficult, I will admit. But that's that. This is for the excavation wand thing. Uh, this one is for the copper wand caps. This is for advanced node tapping. And this one is research mastery, but yeah, let's actually let's let's claim all of these. All right, uh, I guess let's just do this. I actually just woke up. <laughs> oh, what? Why can't I? Why you no let? Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. I can't do that. How come I can't discover the copper wand caps? Wait a minute. Uh oh. Research duplication? I don't know what that does. Oh, I already have copper wand caps. Whoops. <laughs> Darren, I feel smart. Hmm. Okay. Gunpowder. What's this? Mm hmm. Oh yeah, and I also made this thing. I don't know what it does. Basic, basic artifacting. Needful things. I don't know what it does, but I made it. All right. Uh, arcing doors, infernal furnace, primal arrows. Okay. Master node tapping. Hmm. So how does node tapping work? Useful the use usually the process of drawing this from a node is quite slow, but not anymore. You've discovered a more efficient way of tapping the uh, getting double the this draw rate. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna get a couple things ready, and I'm gonna actually get some of these things that I discovered ready, like these. I'm gonna. Get these ready, and I'll meet you guys right back. Alright, I'm back, and I actually got some things. Quite a lot of things, actually. Ooh, there. I went mining for a bit, and I got this potato that I needed. I killed this stupid zombie. So let's see, we got this frost wand of focus thingy. Uh, we also can make... Bum, bum, bum. Where's the quartz? There we go. Oh, oh my goodness, stop failing. Alright, we can also make this, which I need more of this. Great, I am so good at preparing. But here's one thing that I did see. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Aha! Can I unequip these Wand of Focus thingies? Oh, no, wait, you actually have to wait for it to go. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> How do these work on mobs? I want to know. Oh wait, hold on. Eh. Oh, come on. Did it freeze him? Oh no, it doesn't. I knew it broke leaves. I know it breaks glass as well. Now can I actually harm myself with it? Eh, catch it? Nope. Uh oh. Oh, I can't. <laughs> but um, I did notice something. Here, let's go over here. Oh, come on. I just noticed this right before I came back, actually. But if I go down here right down here 
here's where I have my sugar canes growing and my potatoes. But if you look right there, you can see a node. I'm actually going to go mine to it. It's probably a hungry node, if I had to guess. And it's probably going to murder me, and I'm going to lose everything. But let's go investigate. Actually, it's really close, isn't it? It's a lot closer than I thought. Oh, please don't be a hungry node. Uh-oh. Is it a hungry node? It's going to murder me. What kind of node is it? I don't think it's a hungry node. Hey! Okay, it's not. <laughs> Actually, we can fill up our wand here. Gimme. Gimme the good stuff. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's not too bad. Actually, let's let's put a torch here. Pretty interesting to see that right there. This cave looks pretty normal. I'm gonna block this off. I still haven't found the hungry node yet. I know those things are extremely rare though. And I've just been planting these and planting them and planting them. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go get some more more charge in the wand and I'll meet you guys right back. Alright, there we go. I finally got all the stuff that I needed. So now we can actually make this. There we go. Now we have the wand focus of shock. And this is the last one of excavation. Alright, there we go. Nope. There we go. So now we have all these. Now what you want to do with these is put them in the focus pouch. Which this will actually hold them all. So let's see. Uh, where's our wand? So now we actually have all of them. The thing that's annoying with the focus pouch is that you have to have it on you the whole time. Oh, okay. Whoa. This is actually pretty fast. It's actually pretty cool how it works. In the last pack, well, not the last pack, the last version of Thomcraft, it was actually Shovel of Excavation, and it just dug a 3x3, three three basically. 3x3? Three three? Yeah, 3x3. Three three. Dug 9 blocks at once. So let's try the Shock. And I believe that this, like, heat seeks the, the enemies, or the guys are trying to Shock. Uh, of course, it's not fully night time yet. Okay, um... Is there any mobs in here? Oh, come on. Come on, bad guys, be in here. Hey, look! We're at that node. <laughs> wow. That's weird. I guess since we're here, might as well just get more of this. Right? Why not? <laughs> That's kind of weird that we ended up right over here. Hmm. Alright, let's go out here. There should be mobs out here now. Should be night time. Yep. It's night time. Alright, let's look for mobs. Oh, there's a creeper. Alright, let's go shock him. <laughs> shock him. Alright, let's just go up here. Come on. Get up the mountain. Oh, I could hit him from here. This thing has range. Holy crap. Alright, let's go up here. Yeah. Here we go. Up. Oh, and we're back down. <laughs> Shock! The creeper! Oh, he still blew up. Why did you explode, creeper? Alright, let's 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 find out how much damage this thing does per shock. I'm wondering if this works like uh, damage per second thing, or it's just like every so often it'll do damage. Okay, just one shot that chicken. <laughs> Didn't even need the animation. It's kind of funny. Alright, let's go up here. Break through this. Not gonna shock you, chicken, don't worry. Oh, there's a creeper. How come there's only creepers? Oh, there's a zombie. That'll work better. Just because he has no explosives. Where'd he go? Okay, let's see. Zombie? Zombie? Where you going? <laughs> Where you going? There you go. You found me. Okay, it does one and a half hearts. How fast can I kill them? Pretty fast. That's not too bad. So I actually have to aim in their general direction. Okay. Alright, let's kill this creeper. And this sheep. Oh, he turns into a charged creeper. That's pretty cool. Oh. Creeper statue. Hmm. I didn't think you get those like that. Alright, I'm gonna meet you guys back at the base and we could work on some applied energistics. 
Alright, I'm back, and I actually got quite a few things ready. I actually have some of these things. So let's just build this right here. Need redstone. Ugh, can't remember what goes in the middle. What goes in the middle? Uh oh. Oh yeah. Um. No. Um. <laughs> Alright, time to look it up. I can't remember what goes in the middle. It's a piece of glass, are you kidding me? Alright. <laughs> Everything just explodes on the floor because I forgot the glass. Alright, there we go. Now I have the glass, and I got two pieces for a reason. There we go. Because, oh, whoops, what am I doing? This one also takes glass, if I'm not mistaken. If I could put it in the right spot, holy crap, man. And I did something wrong, didn't I? It takes glowstone, dang it. And I thought I was all smart, getting it all ready. <sighs> Dang game. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of things from uh, a dungeon. I got two builder's wands. As you can see here, I got a division sigil and some other crap. <laughs> and I say crap because it was crap. Literally, there was crap in a chest. I kid you not. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now that we have this, I believe we can just do this. Or can you not? Yep, there we go. And you do this. There we go. Now we have higher tier storage. I just realized I could have used this one instead of making a whole new one. Well then. Don't I feel smart? Heh heh heh. Alright, so now with this, this can actually hold more things. I don't get it why it's 63 and not 64. It's kind of weird. But now that we have this, we can actually hold more things in here. So we actually do need to power this thing, so we are going to need to find an alternate source of power. But I guess for the time being, this will be actually pretty nifty, because we can just throw all of our crap in here. And not worry about organizing it. Because this thing will do it for us, basically. The only downside is that we need to power it up if we want to get our goodies out. Man, this thing takes so long to recharge. Alright, what if I take this out? Okay, there. How about if I take that out? Is charge faster? Looks like it. Oh, there we go. Alright, now let's actually take all... Oh, what is this? Sacred Oak Sapling. Okay, then. I don't remember getting that. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Alright, let's just throw all this crap in there. We're going to sort through this later. Some other time. I don't know when. Well, we are going to sort through it eventually. I don't know when. Alright, where's... Okay, here we go. We want to keep that on us. Whoops. I want to throw these diamond pickaxes in there. Oh, okay. Something happened. Alright, let's just throw everything in there. Can I take everything? I hope I can. Alright, let's throw all the things in there. This is actually pretty good so far. We actually could store quite a lot of stuff at the moment. Actually, let's throw that in there too. And let's take the rest of this crap. Throw that in there. Let's check what this is used. 58 of 63. That's not too bad. Alright, um, I guess let's just throw these in there just for fun. Why not? Let's throw these in there. Bam. I keep typing on the stupid thing by accident. Okay, what are we at now? 62. So we can throw one more stack of items in there, basically. Hmm. I'll throw in this obsidian. There we go. And let's check the power on here. Okay, that's not too bad. Can I put this in here? No, I cannot. Don't put the coal in the machine, that's all I have to say. And I think you'll be fine. Because <laughs> if you put it in the machine, you'll kind of be in a bad situation, let's just say. Because you cannot get it back unless you power up the thing. So now what else do we have to build, you might ask? I have no idea. <laughs> now we still need more of these storage things. But we'll probably work on those some other time. And we also have these CPU things and the heat vents. And that's for auto crafting. That's actually. Why am I pink? What in the world? What the hell? 
What? 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 It? What? Why? Why my guy have pink and black thing on him? Okay then. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, why is he? So why? Why are you putting this stuff back on? Hmm. Weird. I don't know why I have that on me. <laughs> That's kind of kind of strange. I don't I don't quite get it. But anyways, what we are we also need to work on is industrial craft. Yeah, I, I was choking on my words in case you couldn't notice. But we need to work on industrial craft. Can I spell it right? Yeah. Nope. Yep. There we go. Two. Nope. Two. There we go. We need to work on some industrial craft stuff so we can get um, more storage and a self-sustaining system. So we actually do want a coke oven, which I believe that's part of this mod, isn't it? Is it not? I guess it's not, because I don't see it. Unless I'm blind, but I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see the coke oven. What mod is the coke oven from, then? All right, let's see. Coke. Coke oven is from Railcraft. Okay, of course. So we need bricks and sand. Wow, what a pain. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get some more bricks and sand, I guess. I believe you need 32. 3 by 3 by 3. Yeah, 3 by 3 is 9, and that 18. And then another 8 would be... Uh, 26, I believe. So I need 26 times 4. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 26 times 4, that's like 100 and something. I need 100 and something clay, and I need uh, about 128 sand, something like that. So I'll meet you guys back when I have all that. Alright, I'm back, and now I have all the stuff that I need. Alright, oh, ah, we'll put this here. Let's just get rid of that. Yeah, that's not needed to be seen. But anyways, now that we have this, we can actually build the coke oven. Um, hmm. What is divisible by this number? Crap. I don't know. Okay. Um, mm hmm. Oh, man. This is annoying me. Because I need to keep moving this stuff. Wait a minute. That's more than I need. <laughs> there we go. Should be exactly enough. Now we can actually just put this down. I actually didn't prepare an area <laughs> like I thought I was going to do, but I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. I'm just, I'm just lazy like that. I didn't feel like preparing an area for it. Actually, this is a bad spot. I should probably move these machines as well. Okay, let's take that out. Let's pick up all this. Uh, okay, now it's not so bad of an area. We're going to want to do this. Yep. We should probably move this further back, to be honest. Alright. Um, hmm. Oh, what? What happened? Um. Oh. Oh, okay, so that's how you remove that. Oh my goodness, that's so annoying. So you... Okay. I was wondering how you remove that. Alright, let's try this. Let's just break through here, like this. This wand of excavation works really good on, like, sand and dirt. That's how I got all the sand and dirt pretty fast. Actually, I didn't try this on clay underwater. I should probably try that. Probably works good on that, too. Oh, we're out of power. Kinda sucks. Alright, um... Yeah, I think this is a good spot. Alright. Bam. I don't remember if you need to put lava in the center of this one. Let's try it. Do I have a bucket? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Makes things a lot easier. No, it doesn't seem like you do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, no. Phew. <laughs> Alright, let's put some coal in here. The reason I made the whole coke oven is for the creosote oil. 
which we're actually going to use. Yeah, weird. Making a coke oven for the creosote oil. Have you ever heard that one before? People usually just make it because you have to make that for the coal coke. Alright, so we're going to put these machines here like that. And then we can put this back in there. Okay, good. That has all the stuff stored on it still. So what we're going to be doing with the creosote oils, we're going to get a semi semi fluid generator. Here it is. We're going to make this thing and this thing can take the creosote oil as far as I know. That's how it was before. I hope it didn't change cuz we're going to run into some problems if it changed, but I don't think it did. And the creosote oil is going to in terms power this whole thing. And also, we're going to have coal coke getting from the, we're going to be getting coal coke from this. I don't know why I'm just stuttering so much and having trouble speaking today. <laughs> but we're going to be getting coal coke from this, and we're also going to be using that in the generator, which I need to make a wrench to move those, which is kind of annoying. I should have probably thought about that. Now that I think of it, this should be further back, but eh, we'll figure something out. This isn't permanent right now. This is just temporary. This isn't a permanent house, by the way. We're going to be, we're going to move somewhere else, probably somewhere over there, eventually. I don't know when, though. But I actually need to make this semi-fluid generator, which this thing doesn't seem to be too big of a pain. We just need this hammer. Or, oh no. Oh no. Uh-oh. Guys, I'm going to be out of power for a bit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I put... <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> that happened. Alright, let me move this back over here. Let's put this back over here for the time being. Actually, we're going to want to put that out of the way. Let's just put this piece on here. That there, and that there. Let's put that in there. Okay, we should have one piece of coal coke. Let's get this going. Okay, there we go. Can I access this? Oh, okay. Can I access it right away? Alright, so I need these. These. Um, crap, what else was it that I needed? Oh, I needed this. Do I have any iron in here? No, I do not. Okay, I guess I didn't have any iron in here. I have iron ore, which I should probably smelt. Alright, I think we're good. There we go. Well then, <laughs> I could have ended horribly. Alright, now I'm just going to want to get a piece of coal coke. Alright, I'll meet you guys back when I have this all going. Alright, I think I have most of the stuff going at least. This stuff is annoying to make, I will say that. Holy crap. Alright, so we need generator. We need this. We need the glass here. I believe we need iron casing here. No? I don't know. Messed something up. Iron generator empty. Oh. Right. <laughs> uh oh. I need a metal former. Well then. <laughs> Isn't that just fun? What does a metal former cost? Please don't be yeah, overpriced. Please don't be overpriced. I I hate this game. <laughs> I'm I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed at this. At least it's just copper. It, the only thing that's really annoying is this thing right here. Well, I guess I'll get a metal former and I'll meet you guys right back. Finally, I have all of this. <laughs> this took so long to get all of this. Holy crap! It takes so much to build this stuff. Holy crap, man! I tell you this. This took a lot longer than you would think, if you noticed my voice sounds a lot different compared to when I started the video. That's because it's literally like four hours later, if not more. <laughs> yeah, it's more than four hours later, I think, at this point. Because I woke up at about, uh, I think, nine or seven or something, and it's about 2.30. What am I looking for? I'm already lost. <laughs> All right. I need iron casings. Of course. Of course. 
I put them away. Oh no wait, no, they're right there. Yep. I I is genius. Okay, anyways, we needed that there. Generator. Now I'm gonna forget what else we needed. Oh, there it is. Finally, we have the geothermal generator. Jeez. <laughs> this took a lot longer than I would have liked it to. Okay. There we go. Are we good? Look at how flooded my inventory is full of crap. Now I can just place this right here. And now I just need... Oh boy, what does a pipe take to make? <laughs> a pipe probably takes like five kind of different machines, right? Right? Alright, I just need a, I need a wooden pipe. That's all I need. Wooden pipe. Right? Can I just search? Okay, wooden fluid pipe. That's what it is. Okay, good enough. Alright. Okay, it still is the same. Good. <laughs> it's not going to drive me crazy. Alright, let's try and put some of this stuff away. So we have some inventory space. Actually, there's an empty chest right here. You know, I should have just took apart some of these chests instead of actually building the chests for some of these things. I actually had to take a lot of stuff out of the machine system that we have. I had to keep turning it on and off, and it was kind of annoying, so I just took a bunch of stuff out, out of this thing. So what did we need? We needed two pieces of wood, two glass, or one glass, and build it like that. Now we need cactus, which conveniently I have none of, right? Yep, I have no cactus. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and now I have all the stuff that I need to make this, so let's just take this and that. We got that pipe. Now we can actually put this where we need it, which is right here. Ah, I hope. I was hoping it wouldn't do that. Obviously, I put this on wrong. <laughs> I should have done it like that. There we go. <laughs> that works. Alright, now let's just make a piston right here. There we go. Piston. That. There. And that. Bam. Now this should be able to pump in, pump the fluids into the generator automatically. So now we just need a lever. Oh, of course. Okay, there we go. Alright, there we go. Now we just do that. And that should go automatically if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it goes. And then this should go into here, and it should automatically power this. Assuming that this works that way, unless I need to put the semi-fluid stuff into the... into like a can or something. That's gonna be annoying if I do. Oh. Hmm. What if I... Oh. Hmm. How, how would I figure this out? No, maybe... Mm-hmm. Maybe if I just search up creosote. There we go. And then right-click it. Fluid transposer. Okay. So I'm assuming that I need to put it in the can first. Right? Yeah, it seems that way. Dang it! I was hoping I was able to get off easy with this. Unless you have to put it into a certain side of the machine. But yeah. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the episode because I actually have to go really soon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.